On September 23rd, Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad appointed Mahmoud Bahmani to replace Tamas Mazahiri as the head of the Central Bank of Iran. Mazahiri had fallen out with the President because he often faulted Ahmadinejad's economic policies, including improper dipping in the foreign exchange reserve for the purpose of purchasing imported consumer goods. He had also been critical of Iran's runaway inflation. Last month, Mazahiri proposed a plan to change Iran's monetary denominations to combat high inflation. The directive, originally set to go into effect on October 21st, is now doubtful. During his mandate, Mazahiri pushed for the increase of interest rates on bank deposits as a deflationary procedure. Conversely, certain government officials sought after higher investments as a way of stimulating business and were unenthused by the former head's policies. Despite disagreements, Fars News Agency reported Majlis Chairman of Economic Commission Golam Reza Mogadam expressing overall regret over Mazahiri's departure. Mogadam said, quote, The change was not desirable and I believe this change shouldn't have taken place. According to Iran's official Irna News Agency, the new chief, the central bank's third reshuffle in as many years under Ahmadinejad, has been given the directive to preserve and promote the national currency and growth and development of the nation's economy. According to Iran's labor news agency, Bahmani previously held high positions in banking, investment, credit management, and market trends. In spite of Bahmani's credentials, Ahmadinejad's monetary actions and economic policies have been increasingly criticized. In September, Majlis Deputy Hossein Ali Shahriyari, in a sarcastic tone, expressed his criticism of Ahmadinejad's fiscal propositions, saying, quote, While we have clearly failed to distribute the wealth fairly, we have at least succeeded in the fair distribution of poverty. In July, a member of the Iranian Parliament Plan and Budget Committee announced that 20% of the population lives under the poverty line, which equates to 14 million people.